This is so unfair. I don't have a birthday cake. It's my birthday too. We're triplets. Oh, look at Austin's face. He's so upset. My cake is delicious. Mmm, so good. Come on, just give me a bite, Austin. Why are you being so mean? Why do you guys hate me so much? Austin, you can share some of my cake if you'd like. Thanks, Barry. Thanks for actually being nice to me. Everyone else just hates me all the time. Yeah, whatever. We've got presents. What did you get, Austin? Well, I didn't get anything. Why would no one give me a gift? It's like mom and dad hate me or something. Austin, come out here. Here, I got you a gift. A rotten banana? Mom, did you just forget to get me a present and now you're just giving me stuff out of the trash? Austin, how dare you? You are so ungrateful. But you got my brother's regular stuff. I don't want a banana, Mom. I just want you to love me and care about me. Well, I want a million dollars. We can't always get what we want. Oh man, I can't believe you beat me. Austin, you're so good at these games. Thanks, Barry. Man, I don't get it. Why does everyone in this family hate me? Dude, I don't hate you. Why would you say that? You're like the only one that doesn't. Mom, Dad, Corey, they're all so mean to me all the time. Yeah, they kind of are. I'm really sorry. I don't know why they act like that. I don't know. I mean, I don't even have a bedroom. I have to sleep on the couch and sometimes on the floor. Uh, what is going on in here? Are you guys playing games without me? Yeah, we were just playing a couple of rounds, that's all. You're not even allowed to play video games with us? You don't have any. Well, I thought that we could share. I mean, you weren't using it. It doesn't matter. If you don't have any, you should be playing. Gosh, you're so stupid. I'm going to tell mom everything. And I'm going to tell her that you didn't do your chores, too. Why are you so mean to me all the time? I'm your brother. Why don't you just treat me with some respect? Why do you even spend time with Austin, Barry? He's so stupid. He's our brother. I enjoy spending time with him. And you need to start being nicer, too. Yeah, whatever. Austin, what are you doing? Nothing. I just finished everything you asked me to. Oh, no, no, no. No, you didn't. There's more chores to be done. Ma, I've been doing chores all day long. No one else had to do any work. Why is it just me? Are you talking back to me? Are you being rude? Because if so, I have a laundry list of other things you can be doing. And you can start by shutting up and mopping the floor. <sighs> Fine, Mom. Whatever. Gosh, I shouldn't be treated this way. I deserve more than this. Um, oh, there's someone at the door. Oh, Aunt Ashley. Hey, it's so nice to see you. Austin! Hi! This is for you! Oh my gosh, really? How come? It was your birthday, silly! Wow, thank you so much! No one's ever this nice to me! You're you're so great! I, I can't believe this! This made my whole week! Aww, <laughs> I'm so glad, Austin! You know, I hate to say it, but you're my favorite triplet! No way! Thank you so much! I'm gonna always keep this teddy bear! It means so much to me! Oh, that was a great catch. Yeah, thanks. I think I'm going to try out for the football team. I think I've got some natural skill. <laughs> yeah, totally. Oh, man, I love being outside. Yeah, I do too. One day, when I grow up, I want to get a big house in the middle of the forest. Like a cabin or something. Oh, that would be so cool. Maybe by a lake? Yeah, and we can invite the whole family. You, me, and Austin, and all our friends. Yeah, <laughs> everybody except Austin. Well, why wouldn't he be there? He's our brother. Well, because he's stupid, nobody likes him, and he has no friends. You can't bring people around like that. Ugh. Plus, he's so ugly. Dude, we're triplets. Austin is a loser, and he should have never been born. It should have just been you and me as twins. Well, that's really unfair. I don't know why you keep acting like that. I can't believe this. I just want to be loved by my own family. Why am I the hated triplet? Man, I can't believe my mom made me walk five miles to get here. I hate it. She never makes Corey or Barry go. And she has a car. She could have just drove us. But no, I had to come all the way down here. And I have to carry this stuff all the way back for everyone. It's just not fair. Excuse me, sir. Can I check out my items, please? 
No, you're ugly. Get out of here, man. Please stop being mean to me. I just have to get this stuff back to my family. Oh, where, where, where? You know who I am, man? I'm Eunice, okay? And I don't care about you at all, actually. It's funny. I'm not asking you to care about me. I'm asking you to do your job. Well, maybe if you weren't so ugly, I'd be able to hear what you're saying, but I can't. Because all I can hear is stupid coming out of your mouth. <laughs> Seriously, this is what you're going to do? I'm going to complain to the manager. You think I'm scared of the manager? I used to be a manager at a pizza shop. All right, man, but now I'm here, and whatever, I don't care. You can call whoever you want. It's not going to stop you from being a stupid, ugly loser. <laughs> I've had enough of this. I'm out of here. Good, finally, gosh, all that ugly was starting to rub off on all the stuff in the store. I want people to come back here and not run away scared. About time, Austin, you took forever. Where are the juice boxes I asked for? I couldn't get the groceries. What do you mean you couldn't get the groceries? You go to the store, you buy them, and then you bring them back. How stupid are you? I couldn't get them, okay? The guy wouldn't sell them to me. He was a jerk. Wow. So now our whole family has to go without food. I'm going to tell mom. Why don't you stop it, Corey? You got legs, too. You could walk to the store and buy your own stuff. Well, that's the only reason why we keep you around is to do stuff like that. And you know what? I'm going to make sure you sleep outside for a week because you shouldn't even be in this house. Gosh, I can't stand you. Why is everyone so awful in this house? Guys, what is going on? Why are we fighting? We're fighting because Austin is just so stupid. He forgot the groceries. So what? You're saying some awful things to him, Corey. Oh, really, Barry? You're just going to choose this loser's side over mine? Yeah, I am because you're being mean to Austin. Whatever. I feel so betrayed by you. I know he says some really mean stuff, but Austin, you can't listen to Corey. I don't know what's gotten into him. I don't get it. It's not just Corey, it's everybody in my life. You and Aunt Ashley are the only people that have ever been nice to me, Barry. I just want to be loved. Austin, you're my brother. I'm gonna love you forever. We're family. Wait a minute, do you smell something burning? Yeah, what is that? I don't know, I'm gonna go check. I'll be right back. My teddy bear! How could you? Haha, <laughs> oh, look at the little loser crying over a stupid teddy bear. I can't believe you would do this. Do you understand how much that thing meant to me? No, and I don't really care. <laughs> this is what you get. You're the worst person I've ever met in my life. You're a horrible person. Austin, what are you doing with that bag? I'm out of here, Barry. I'm running away. What do you mean you're out of here? No one wants me around, man. I can't live like this. You don't understand. No one in this house hates you. Well, I guess I kind of get it. I mean, I wouldn't want to be here if everyone hated me too, but you can't just leave. Look, I'm really grateful to have you as a brother. You've been awesome, but I have no other choice. Do you think you can help me run away? Well, if it's what you really want, yeah, I'll, I'll help you. Oh, thanks, man. You're the best. All right, here's your ticket. This should take you to Auntie's house. Thanks for letting me borrow the money, man. You know that Corey just steals all the money I get. Yeah, of course. Just uh, make sure you tell Auntie I say hi when you see her. And I'm really going to miss you, Austin. I know. I'm going to miss you too, man. All right, I got to go before I get too upset and change my mind. Thanks for everything. Of course. And I promise I won't say anything to anybody. I think this is it. This must be the right house. Hello, anyone home? Austin, what are you doing here? Oh, Auntie Ashley, I I'm so happy to see you. Look, I ran away. What? You ran away? So your mother has no idea where you are right now. No, and I don't think she cares. I don't think you understand how mean everybody is to me. I'm the hated triplet. Everybody just picks on me all the time, and I can't stand it. 
Well, Austin, running away never solved anyone's problems. That's not the right thing to do. I know, but Corey took the stuffed animal that you got me and he lit it on fire. That's how much they don't like me. I just don't want to be around people that hate me. And you're the only person that's nice to me besides Barry. But Barry lives in the house with all the mean people. Wait, he did what? I can't believe it. I'm sorry, Austin, but I don't know. Please, just let me stay here. I'm telling you, they're not even going to care. Well, all right. That's fine. Yes, you can stay with me. Thank you so much. Man, I had such a great breakfast. Thank you again. Don't worry, I'll take care of the dishes. Oh, Austin, don't be silly. I got this. You're a guest. Now go relax. How dare you, Austin? I cannot believe this! No! Mom, what are you doing here? I'm coming to take you back home. How dare you run away? Who do you think you are? Someone important? But Mom, I want to stay here! And you. I can't believe you would do this. Why didn't you call me? I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I meant to, but, you know, Austin was really upset last night, and I, I, I don't know. I, I just didn't want things to get any worse than they already are, clearly. I can't believe you. You're the worst. Well, look, Austin's been telling me how you guys treat him. And you shouldn't do that. He's your son, you know. I don't have to answer to you. I don't have to answer to anyone. I can do whatever I want. And I will bring the cops into this if you don't let me take my son home. Whatever, just, just don't call the cops, my goodness. Austin, I'm so sorry. You need to pack your things. It's okay. Thanks for trying. I can't believe I have to go home with you, Mom. If you ever try to do something like this again, I will get you arrested. Oh man, I can't wait to go to work today. It's one thing that I can look forward to because at least I can get away from this house. And I can get a bank account now so Corey can stop stealing my money. But I gotta leave now if I want to make it on time. Hey, Corey, get out of the way, man. I need to take the car to work. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. Actually, I have way more important things to do, so I'm gonna need the car. No, dude, you can't take the car. I have to work. It's important. What I have is important, too. Way more important than your dumb job. What are you talking about, man? I'm trying to work hard here. What are you doing? You don't even have a job. Mom pays for the gas and everything for you. Well, if you need to know, I have a date tonight, and that's why I need the car. That's not important, dude. You don't need the car. Take the bus or take an Uber or something. No. In fact, I'm going to take the car right now. Why don't you take the bus if they'll let you on? No, I'm going to be late. I need to get to work. Oh, gosh. Come on. Oh, my gosh. There were no Ubers available. I just ran five miles. Oh, gosh, but I'm 30 minutes late. I hope that I don't get in trouble. This guy's so mean. He's like the worst person ever. He was mean to me ever since I was a kid, and now he's my boss. Oh, look who it is. The stupidest man I ever met in my life. Uh, I'm sorry I'm late. Yeah, yeah, you. I bet you're sorry there. You're a terrible, terrible worker, man. I had to run here. My brother took the car from me. I'm sorry, it won't ever happen again. Wow, now you're blaming it on your brother? No wonder everyone hates you and no one in your life cares. What? What are you talking about? I just think overall, in general, you're a terrible person, man. You're really annoying to be around. I'll be honest with you. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll make it up. I'll, I'll stay later. I'll do whatever I need to. No way, man. The thought of being around you one more second makes my head want to explode, okay? You're fired. No, no, no. Please, please don't fire me. I really need this job. No, man. You're ugly anyway, and you scare away all the customers with your ugly, stupid face. Come on, please. This isn't fair. You can't talk to me like that. Whoa, my goodness. I can do whatever I want. I'm Eunice. I'm the manager now, okay? And I'm going to call security if you don't get out of here. Fine. I'm out. Bye-bye, loser. <laughs> Man, 
I can't believe this. I can't believe I lost my job. I don't know what I'm gonna do now. I just wanted to save up money so I could get my own place and get out of here. But everything keeps falling apart. I feel like I've lost everything. Gosh, why is life so hard? Hey, Austin, is everything okay? No, man, I got fired. And I got fired because of Corey and his selfish actions, man. Yeah, I know. Corey kind of is the most selfish person on the planet. But everything's gonna be okay, dude. You'll get, like, another job, and you're almost done with school. So when you're done with that, you'll even have a better job. I guess, man. I mean, if I can't hold a job now, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know how I'll pay for school or how I'll get out of this house. You're a tough, determined person, Austin. You're gonna make it happen. I have faith in you. You really mean that, man? Yeah, of course. Dude, who knows you better than your brother? Yeah, I'm really grateful for you, dude. Seriously. I, I don't know what I'd do without you. Well, you'd probably go crazy, but don't worry about it. Just shake it off. Everything's gonna be fine. Come on, let's go get something to eat. I'm hungry. Hey, you wanted to see us both? Yes, yes, thanks. I wanted to see both of you guys. I wanted to talk about your grades. I bet it's probably because I'm like the number one student in the whole school. Well, thank you so much. It was a lot of hard work. Yeah, no, actually, it's quite the opposite. You're probably one of the worst students in the entire world. Uh, but Austin here is the best performing student we've had in the entire school. So congratulations, Austin. You're great. What? No way. Uh, yeah, th that is the way. You failed everything that you've done, and you don't do your homework, so you were a terrible student. Wow, I can't believe it. I have the best grades in the whole school? You should be proud of yourself, Austin. You've been working really hard. Keep it up, and you're gonna have a bright future. Corey, if you keep it up, you're gonna have a terrible future. The choice is up to you. Um, hey, you better watch who you're talking to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I don't have time for this nonsense, Corey. Bottom line is, if you want to be successful, you gotta put in some more hard work, okay? All right, I gotta go. Mmm, so stupid. You better watch your back, Austin. Hey, Freddy, listen up. I've got this stupid triplet that's an uglier version of myself. You know who he is? Yeah, dude, I seen that guy around. He's got the stupidest face ever. Yeah, exactly. I need you to beat him up. He's disgusting, and he totally embarrassed me in front of the principal and I got yelled at. The principal's dumb too, but I need you to beat Austin up. Aw, oh, dude, that's ridiculous, man. And I love beating people up, so this should be, like, so cool. I'm so down, bro. Make sure he cries, too. Of course, I'll make sure he cries. Hey, yo, take this, Ow! Austin. Oh, what, what are you doing? I'm not Austin. That's what you get, Austin. No, my name is Barry. Austin is our other triplet. Oh, my bad, dude. Sorry, I didn't mean to punch you in the face. Yo, do you know where Austin is? No, I don't. Why would you do this? Huh, well, I mean, Corey asked me to beat up some dude named Austin, so I was like, yeah, I like beating people up. I'll just do that. Seriously? Corey did this? Oh, I can't believe it. So do I not beat up Austin, or like, what am I doing? No, just get out of here. All right, dude, see ya. Sorry for punching you in the face again. <laughs> It'll work perfectly. I can't wait to see Austin's face when he walks in the door. He's gonna finally learn his place after this. Corey, I need to talk to you. What's wrong, Barry? Well, I just got punched in the face by Freddy. Uh oh. Oh, that's not good. Why would Freddy do that? Because you told him to beat up Austin. That's why. Well, uh, uh, Austin made a fool out of me in front of the principal, so I told Freddy to beat him up. So what? Who cares? Dude, you're an absolutely awful brother. You made a fool out of yourself in front of the principal, not Austin. Well, I'm sorry, dude. Freddy's just dumb, and he just mixed you guys up. That's all. I, I don't want to hear it, Corey. I'm so done with you. Barry, stop. Wait. Oh, now Barry's mad at me. Yet again, Austin causing trouble for me. He's such a pain in the neck. I need to deal with this once and for all. Corey, you are one smart man. Wearing Austin's shirt to make sure you never get caught and they blame him? It's a perfect idea. And if anybody sees me, I'm gonna get Austin kicked out of school. <laughs> this works perfectly. Just a little paint here, maybe a little over here. <laughs> this is awesome. Wow, 
Well, I think I ran in front of all the security cameras and spray painted everything. Now Austin's gonna get blamed for this. He's probably gonna get expelled or something. <laughs> he totally deserves this. Man, I can't wait to take the quiz today. I've been studying all night. I just wanna keep working hard and maybe I can get a college scholarship. That'll get me out of this house. Hey, uh, Austin, I gotta talk to you. Oh, hey, what's going on? We're having some big problems about what you did last night. Why did you do it? Uh, what do you mean? I studied all night. Oh, you sure are brave showing up after what you pulled last night. I know you weren't studying, you liar. I didn't do anything. I was home the entire night, I promise. Oh, really? You weren't the one in here spray painting graffiti everywhere, huh? No, it wasn't me. I promise I didn't do anything. Look, you might be a smart kid, Austin, but you are dumb sometimes, I'll tell you that right now. You don't think I know a liar when I see one? I'm not lying, sir. Why would I lie? Probably so you don't get in trouble for spray painting stuff everywhere. Look, I promise it wasn't me. Well, I promise you're never gonna step foot on this school property ever again. What do you mean? You're expelled, Austin. Get out of here. Oh, this had to have been Corey. I know it. I don't know what happened, but I know that he did this, but I gotta find a way to get back at him. I'm so tired of him ruining my life. Oh, I got an idea. I got a great idea. Oh, Corey's always attached to his phone. Wants to be an influencer. Thinks he's so cool, huh? Loves texting people, whatever. Well, how about this? Destroy this stupid thing. This is what Corey gets for taking everything from me. I'm done with this. I'm not putting up with it anymore. Austin, what happened? Everybody was talking at school about how you vandalized everything. You know that I didn't do that, man. It was Corey. He framed me. I just know it. I don't know how to prove it, but I know that it was him. And you got kicked out of school? Yeah, dude. My chances of going to college now are completely ruined. You stupid idiot! I can't believe you! That's what you get, Corey. I don't care anymore, okay? You ruined my future! Whoa, guys! Guys, what is going on? Austin broke my phone, Barry! It's completely destroyed! Austin, did you really do that? Yeah, of course I did. That's what Corey gets. He wants to ruin my life? Well, I'm tired of being picked on. I'm gonna ruin his life, too. But why would you stoop down to Corey's level and do something like that? Because Corey's so stupid, that's the only way he's ever gonna understand what I'm going through. Who cares what you're going through, Austin? Literally nobody. Nobody likes you. I can't believe you broke my phone. Shut up. I can't believe you got me kicked out of high school. What about me? I was supposed to go to college. I worked hard. Oh my gosh. Both of you need to shut up. I can't, I can't stand it anymore. The constant fighting between you two is, it's too much. I'm running away and I'm never coming back. Barry, where are you going? This is all your fault, man. He wouldn't have left if it wasn't for you being such a jerk all the time. He probably left because he's sick of your stupid, ugly face and how annoying you are and how you've ruined our lives being born. The constant fighting between you two is, it's too much. I'm running away and I'm never coming back. Barry, where are you going? Barry, Barry, what's going on? You need to come find me, Austin, but before it's too late. Uh, ah! oh, oh my gosh. Oh gosh, it was just a dream. Oh, Barry, man, I feel responsible for everything. I can't believe that he actually ran away. I mean, I know that he said that he was gonna leave, but I didn't know he meant forever. I haven't heard from him in two weeks. I searched everywhere. I went to his friends' houses. I went to his favorite places to hang out. I even went to different hotels and Airbnbs around town and I still couldn't find him. I have to though, I have to get to the bottom of this. I need to apologize to him. He's the only person in my life that's good to me. Oh, man, I just feel so guilty. Corey, I just had this horrible dream about Barry where he's asking for my help. Oh, I'm sorry, Austin. Are you seriously talking to me right now? Ugh, leave me alone. But the dream was just so realistic. Well, what was it about? He was just saying that he needed help and we had to find him before it was too late. Well, that's weird. I had the same dream last night. Dude, are you serious? That can't be a coincidence. Maybe we need to work together to find Barry, man. I know that you hate me, but 
Barry could really be in trouble. It was just a dumb dream, Austin. But what about Barry, Corey? Why are you being selfish? Well, it's your fault that Barry ran away in the first place. It's not my fault. It's your fault. You're the one that got me kicked out of school. Well, you're the one that made me look like an idiot. You always make me look like an idiot. That's because you are an idiot, Corey. It's not hard to make you look like it when you act like one all the time. Well, just shut up. I hate you. Leave me alone. Look, we got to put our differences aside to find our brother. Well, I've been looking for Barry all on my own. I don't need your stupid help. Fine, whatever. I'll figure it out on my own then, because I know you're not actually going to try to find him. Man, this is pointless. I don't know where to find Barry. And if Barry wanted us to find him, he would show up by now. Maybe he really doesn't want to come home. Oh, hey, yeah, dude, you're that Austin kid, right? Yeah, Freddy, right? Yeah, yeah, man, I messed up a couple weeks ago. I punched your brother in the face, but I was actually supposed to punch you in the face. Wait, what? What are you talking about, man? Oh, yeah, dude, like, I was supposed to beat you up, and then, like, I never did, and now I'm thinking I'm probably just gonna do it because I'm bored. What? No, I don't want to fight you, man. Yeah, I don't care if you want to fight me or not. I'm gonna fight you, though. Freddy, get lost. Yeah, but dude, you asked me to beat this kid up and like I got nothing else to do, so maybe I'll beat him up, you know? Freddy, I saw Nelson down the street looking at bugs with a magnifying glass. I know you love to pick on him. Just go do that instead. Ha, oh, good looks, man. Good looks. That's why we're friends, Corey. All right, I'm going to go punch Nelson in his face. Yeah, see you later, dude. Yo, what is going on, man? Why'd that guy just try to beat me up? Uh, don't worry about it, dude. Austin, you talk way too much. So what are you even doing here? Why did you stand up for me? Well, we need to go find Barry. Wow, okay, awesome. I can't believe that you changed your mind, but we got to try to find our first lead. I have no idea where to look. Are you seriously that dumb? Have you even looked in his room? No, I didn't think to. All right, let's go check his room first. I mean, that's literally where he lives. Well, we need to look around. Luckily, he keeps the room pretty clean. Total nerd. No wonder why you guys get along. Yeah, but I don't know where to look, man. Well, just start anywhere. There has to be a clue somewhere. Look, a flyer, dude. It says Creek Springs. What is that place? It means nothing to me. Well, that's where Barry always wanted to live. He always talked about how it was such a cool place. Oh, right. The cabin in the woods. His big dream. You think Barry saved enough money to go there? Well, I don't know. Maybe. Barry's kind of smart, so maybe he saved up his allowance or something. Yeah, maybe, dude. I think we should go there. That's probably where he is. All right, fine, but Creek Springs is a long way away from here. We're going to need a car, but I don't think Mom's going to let us take hers, especially if I'm in the car. Yeah, no, definitely not. Mom would never let us take her car, but I think I have an idea how to get one. Yo, what are you doing, man? This isn't our car. Dude, this car is totally abandoned, okay? I see it every single day. It just sits here. No one moves it. Are you sure it's abandoned? How do you know? Look at it, dude. It's disgusting. Who would buy this car? Yeah, that's true. This car is literally the worst car ever. But I don't know, man. Do you think that this is stealing? Do you think we get in trouble for this? You think this is stealing? You think we get in trouble? Oh my gosh, dude. You're so annoying and dumb. No one's going to care if we take this old abandoned car. Well, I guess we need to find Barry. We got to do whatever it takes, right? If we get in trouble, then... It is what it is. Exactly. We have to find our brother. Now shut up. Let's go. Uh, okay. What's going on? Who stole my car? I just bought it. Yo, why did we stop, man? Dum dum, we ran out of gas. Oh, I can't believe this. Oh, why would we drive all the way out here without checking the fuel? 
Dude, the gas gauge was flying around the whole time. I was driving. It's obviously broken. Oh my gosh, dude. You never think things through. You never think to just shut up, dude. Oh my gosh. Why don't you try to do something? You're just sitting there complaining. All right, all right. We're getting aggravated with each other. We need to stop fighting and we need to figure out what to do. Yeah, yeah, fine. You, you get on my nerves, but we got to think about Barry. Look, I think that we've drove about 25 miles, which means we only have to walk like three more miles south and we can probably get there. What? Dude, how do you know that? Uh, because I pay attention to math class. It's simple addition and subtraction, man. Whoa, well, that was kind of cool. You sounded really smart. Oh, thanks. I can teach you how to do it sometime if you want. Yeah, math is stupid. Uh, I don't know, man. I think that you should learn at least basic math. I mean, it's going to help us find Barry. Anyway, we got a long walk, man. I hope you're ready. Ugh, I don't want to walk. Well, you got no choice. You're either doing that or you got to stay in this gross old car. Ugh, fine. Whatever. Excuse me, sir. Do you happen to have directions to the entrance of the forest? What do I look like? Some kind of directions person? Pay me some money. Maybe I'll tell you some stuff. Uh, I don't have any money, man. I just need directions. That's all. Wow, you are really annoying. You must be one of the ugliest people I've ever met in my life. Please, sir. I'm just asking you for some help. Yeah, well, maybe you should ask someone somewhere else because you're not getting any help from me, okay? I don't help whiny losers try to find stuff. I'm out here trying to survive. Oh, jeez, that guy's so rude. Yeah, that guy is a total jerk. That's all right, I'm used to it. What do you mean you're used to it? I mean, everybody's always mean to me all the time. Especially you. You treat me like the worst out of everybody. Wait, you mean I talked to you like that guy just did? Oh, way worse. That guy was actually pretty nice compared to you. Oh, well, uh, well, whatever. Listen, we can find the entrance to the forest on our own, all right? Let's just keep walking. We did it, man. We finally found the entrance. Yeah, this is supposed to be the Creek Springs Woods, right? Yeah, but now we just got to figure out which direction we need to go through. Hey, yo, look, there's a football over by the tree. Dude, this is actually Barry's football. Oh, we must be close. Yeah, Barry never goes anywhere without this stupid football. I know, he loves playing catch with everybody. Me and him used to play all the time. Wait, really? Yeah, I love playing catch. Football's like one of my favorite sports ever. Barry used to play with me all the time, too. Well, I don't know why you and I never played together. I mean, we all love the same things, and me and Barry always got along. Yeah, I don't know. I just didn't want to hang out with you then. I mean, you don't seem that bad now. You're not as annoying as you used to be. Thanks, Corey. I'll take that as a compliment. All right, come on. We got to go find Barry. He's got to be close, and he's probably really upset that he lost his football. Dude, look, there's a cabin in the distance. I bet you five bucks that's exactly where Barry is. This is pretty much the place he always talked about. One day, when I grow up, I want to get a big house in the middle of the forest. Like a cabin or something. Yeah, of course he'd be here, man. Let's go see if he's inside. Oh, no, you don't. Why do you... <sighs> Hold on, I need to catch my breath. Whoo-wee. Okay. What do you two losers think you're doing? Well, who are you, dude? I I'm here to find my brother. Get out of my way. Oh, no. I'm not going anywhere. You two idiots stole my car. Yeah, we were sorry. We thought that car was abandoned. It was just so gross and disgusting. We never thought anyone would ever drive it. Yeah, that car should be burned. It totally broke down a piece of junk. That was a brand new car that I just got for $500, okay? I just bought that car! And you two idiots think you can get away with stealing it right from underneath my nose? Oh, well, really sorry. It was just a misunderstanding. The car's like a few miles back. You can go get it. Oh, I saw it, okay? The poor little car. It was all sad, left alone on the side of the road. And you two idiots broke it! Look, I'm really sorry again. Uh, we didn't mean to hurt your feelings or anything. You're nothing but a worthless piece of trash. Hey, don't talk to my brother like that. Ow! Did you just hit me? Oh my gosh! 
Wow, thanks, Corey. Come on, quick, let's run to the cabin. Gosh, I hope this is the right place. Barry, are you here? Open the door! Oh, there you guys are. Dude, I'm so happy to see you. Oh my gosh. It took you guys long enough to find me. Yeah, how did you get this cabin anyway, man? Dude, I've been saving up my allowance for like ever. Wow, that's a pretty good allowance. I never got one, so I don't know how much you guys get, but anyway. Yeah, whatever. Barry, what were you thinking running away like that? Well, I just couldn't stand being around the two of you fighting anymore. You're both my brothers and my favorite people on the planet, and I just wanted to get away from it all. Well, it's really all kind of my fault. I've been a total jerk to Austin the whole time, and I'm sorry, Barry. More importantly, I'm sorry to you, Austin. It's all right. I mean, I know that you ran away, and that was bad, Barry, but it made us all become closer. Yeah, that was kind of why I did it in the first place. I was hoping you guys would come together and find me. Well, we did, man. And now it's time to go home, together. Promise no more fighting? Yeah, I promise. Yeah, I promise. Oh my god! What's happening? No! The babies! We gotta get them out of here! I know! This hospital, it's gonna collapse in any second! We gotta get these triplets out! I got one! Let's go! That was a close one. Oh, the hospital! It's in complete ruins! This is awful! But at least we got these poor innocent babies out. I know, we need to get these triplets to an orphanage stat. You know what? Maybe I'll adopt one myself. What is this? What's going on? Oops, sorry. Was this your home? Yeah, and now it's in pieces? Yeah, 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 and if you keep talking back to us, you're gonna be in pieces too. Why would you guys do such a thing to me? I didn't do anything wrong, and I don't like seeing you around school. You should just leave and never come back. We don't want any poor pathetic losers in our school. Hey, what are you boys doing? You got lucky this time, punk. I swear I'll see you at school. Adam, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, but, but look, our, our home, it's completely destroyed. I know. How could those evil children do something like that? How did the job interview go? Oh, you're never gonna get this job, man! You're a horrible person! <laughs> uh, it didn't go that well. You know what? It's okay. Figure it out. We always find a way to make it through. Now I don't even have a home. Oh, you gonna cry about it, loser? <laughs> Leave me alone. You've already done enough. Yeah, I can't believe you would just vandalize Adam's house like that. Ah, we just wanted to show him what a real loser he is. Yeah, man, just get lost, okay? You're the loser for what you did. Have fun not having a home. <laughs> hey, uh, thanks, Jake. Thanks for standing up for me. Yeah, of course, man. That's what friends are for. You're kind of like my brother. I mean, you always got my back. So what are you going to do about everything now? First thing comes to first, uh, I have to get a job. With my mom, I mean, she's not making that much. We can't really just buy a new house. Ever since the hospital broke down, my mom hasn't had a good job. Luckily, that job fair is going to be coming around. We should totally go. You know, th that'll be a huge help for me. Stefan, where do you think you're going? I have had enough of it, and I cannot be your butler anymore! Don't you dare get in that car and drive off. I'm getting in this car, and I'm driving off! This place sucks! You are the worst butler ever! Get lost! We don't need you here anyways! Dad, what's going on? Oh, Oliver! Stefan just decided to quit yet again. Drove off crying like a baby. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Well, what are we gonna do about it? What are we gonna do about it? More like, what are you going to do about it, Oliver? It's probably your reason why Stefan quit in the first place. That's not true. Well, it's up to you to find us a new butler, but you need to start searching. You need to make this right. I don't even know where to start looking. Why can't me and my dad just have a good bond? He always just blames me for everything. His problems are now mine. I guess at least I'm not in an orphanage. Ow, quit it! Just leave me alone! Ha <laughs> ha, take this, you loser! Ow, stop! What is wrong with you? You've been here for 18 years, man! Something must be wrong with you! Shut up! You're here too, you're an orphan as well! Yeah, but I haven't been here for 18 years, dummy! You've been here the longest! Ow! I'm so tired of this! I've gotta get out of here! 
I don't need a family to adopt me to leave this place. I'll just get a job and make money, and then I can leave this place for good. Adam, I have a surprise for you. A surprise? Where are we going to? Well, I got a promotion at work, and it's a great new job. And, wait, there's more. Look, it's our new home. A new home? We're not going to be homeless? Not anymore. See, I told you we'd make it through. I don't know what to say. I can't believe this is all happening. I know, it's so exciting. Finally, things are going our way. I know, uh, nothing has been lately. I'm just glad our luck's finally turning around. Now run along, go inside and unpack your room. I actually have to go to work. <laughs> Where is she at? It's so late out. It's been storming all night too, and she hasn't come home yet. Oh, maybe that's her. Uh, oh, hi, officer. Can I help you with something? Yeah, I'm looking for Adam. Yeah, th that's me. Uh, I hate to break it to you, man. There's been a terrible accident. It's your mom. She, uh, she didn't make it. I'm really sorry. No, no, I, I just saw her, officer. I, I just saw her a couple hours ago. Mom! Mom, please! I can't believe this! Mom, you can't go! Kid, are you okay? How is she gone? We just got a new house and everything on my life. It, it, it was looking up. It was just a really bad accident, and your mom didn't make it. And I'm sorry, but you can't live in this house either. The house is in your mom's name. It's not in yours, so you have no rights to it. No, 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 please. I, I, I can pay rent here. I can get a job, please. Sorry, kid. It's just the way it goes. You're going to have to find somewhere else to live. I don't think I can afford life on my own. I'm going to be on the streets. My mom, what am I going to do now? Where am I going to go? Uh, uh, excuse me, sir. Yes, what do you want? I was wondering if you'd like to uh, apply to be my new butler. What? Be a butler? Absolutely not. I already have a job. Get lost, freak. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you or anything. I, I was just trying to give an actual job to someone. No one wants to be a butler to a spoiled brat like you. I need to go to my real job. Oh, man. I've been asking for hours now, and, and every reaction's been the same. Wait, what's that? Is someone breaking into something? Oh, I gotta go home right now. It's too dangerous out here. Ugh, I'm out of here. Hey, get back here! You're never gonna catch me. You're gonna be in this orphanage for the rest of your life, kid! <sighs> I think I lost him. There's no way I'm going back to that orphanage. I'm sick of getting beat up by the other kids. I've had enough of this. What is this? It's like a flyer for some kind of job fair? Oh, this is perfect. I need a job. That way I can start my new life. Maybe this is the place to start. I'll prove all those people wrong. I'll live on my own and I'll be successful. They'll see. Mom, I, I can't believe this is true. You're, you're actually gone. Now I have no family left. I mean, what am I gonna do? You always knew what to say. I wish you were still here. I figured I'd find you here. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. I, this None of this feels real to me. Your mom was the best, man. You don't deserve this. I'm really sorry. I know she was. I mean, she didn't have to adopt me, but after she rescued me from that hospital, she took me to be one of her own. And, and she got this? It's just not fair. I know it doesn't feel fair. And you can feel as angry and upset as you want to be, but don't let it get you down, man. You've got something good coming your way. I mean, it doesn't feel that way. I'm basically homeless now. I have nowhere to go. Well, we were talking about that job fair, man. She'd want you to keep going and make sure you succeed. Oh, here it is. The job fair? Heard about this on the news. Maybe I can find someone here to be a butler. This has to be some kind of joke. You're wasting my time. No, it's not some kind of joke. Please, I want to work. You have to be out of your mind to think I'd hire someone like you. No experience, no credit, nothing. Please, sir, just please hire me. Get lost. Make room for the real hires. Oh, whatever. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Whoa, wait a second. You guys look like me. Yeah, we all look identical. It's like looking into a mirror. It's so weird. We have to be related in some way. I mean... No way, right? Are we brothers? No, there's no way. I'm I'm an only child. 
yeah, I definitely don't have any brothers. Well, guys, come on, look at us. I know I was adopted. Uh, were you? Yeah, I, I was adopted too. It's just some weird coincidence we look alike. We're not related. Come on, you can't be serious. Listen, I'm on my own. I didn't need anyone before, and I don't need anybody now. Hey, come on! Dude, this is crazy. You're my brother. Yeah, I know. I didn't think I had any family left. What are we gonna do about him? I mean, he's our family too, technically. Yeah, we have to figure that out. He seems like he's been through a lot. Dude, your life is so different than mine. You're really on the streets right now? Yeah, I mean, so much has changed in such a short time. And it seems like you're doing really good. I mean, you're rich. It's not as great as it seems. What do you mean by that? It's nothing, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. It's just crazy that we're brothers. I still can't believe it. I also just don't get why the other one's so mad at us. It seems like he didn't really have that great of a life. Well, neither of us really know what happened to him, you know? So anything's possible. I think it's best that we don't give up. He needs us, whether he knows it or not. I just hope he's not a lost cause, man. Hey, there's no way he is, okay? We have to be alike in some way. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Oh, man, I totally forgot. Uh, I'm late. Uh, I gotta go to my job interview. Wait, what? A job interview? If you're trying to get a new job, uh, I have an offering up. Wait, really? Yeah, I'm trying to find a new butler for my mansion. If you want, I mean, you can have it. It pays well and everything. Oh, awesome. Uh, of course I'll take it. Well, why not? Why are you kicking me out? You are possibly the worst person that has ever applied here in the history of ever. You don't even know me. I don't need to know you in order to know your work ethic. You look like you can't even work with the broom. Yeah, whatever, man. You're just missing out on a good employee. Get out of here. Ugh, that guy is such a jerk. He wouldn't even give me that job. I mean, how hard is it? I could stock shelves in a grocery store, no problem. Yes, I'm going to my private plane right now. I'll be there in about 20 minutes. Wait, that was the guy from the job fair. Oh, did he drop his wallet? Yeah, he did. Whoa, there's a whole lot of money in here. Should I give it back to him? I don't know, that guy was a total jerk. Maybe I'll teach him a lesson. And I could really use the money. Yeah, it's his fault he dropped it anyway. Finders keepers. I just want to say thank you so much again for giving me this job. I mean, ever since my mom passing, things just haven't been looking up for me. Wait, what? Your mom? What happened with your mom? Oliver, there you are. And who is this? Oh, uh, this is our new butler. His name's Adam. He looks exactly like you. What is he, your twin? Uh, apparently. Uh, I just found out too. Isn't it crazy? Why would you keep this from me? You are the most selfish person I've ever met. And look at you. You're supposed to be a butler? You don't even look like one. Yeah, I probably should have gotten appropriate clothes, but... But, 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 that's your fault, loser. Listen, I'm willing to give you a chance. But if you don't have proper clothes and act like a real butler, you might as well not even show up tomorrow. Is that clear? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, it's clear. Oliver, you deal with this. So, I'm guessing that's your dad? Yeah, it's kind of the worst. Uh, I don't really have a great relationship with him. Sometimes I kind of wish I was just on my own. Well, hey, don't don't say that. You got to be thankful for what you have. Some people don't even have their parents around anymore. Uh, I guess you're right. Well, hey, maybe you should go get some butler clothes uh, if you want to keep the job. Yeah, you're right. I definitely want to keep the job. Uh, I can't not make money. Uh, it has to be around here somewhere. Where's the shop again? Oh, wait, that's Luke. It looks like he's in a hurry. What is he doing? Uh, I got to follow him. I need to talk to him. I want to see how he's doing. Why is he running inside of there? Is that a warehouse? No, wait, does, does, does Luke live here? Does he really live here? Uh, hey! Well, who is it? Oh, it's you. What are you doing here? Did you follow me? I didn't really technically follow you. I just, I saw you around the corner and then... What do you want? I just wanted to see how you were doing. How's everything going? Do, do you really live here? That's none of your business. Hey, I mean, I'm your brother. It kind of is. You may look like me, but you're definitely not my brother. I've been on my own my whole life. I've never needed a family before. I, I don't know what to say. You don't need to say anything. You two got the chance to live lives. You were adopted and I wasn't. You have no idea what my life has been like. I was picked on and bullied the entire time. Left alone in that orphanage, watching everybody else get adopted and find families but me. Well, how did you get I, out? It doesn't matter. 
I got out, and I'm better for it. Please, Luke, just let me help you. And Get out of here. You're not welcome, and I don't want to see you. I'll go. I'm sorry for bugging you. Yeah, get lost. I don't need either of them getting in my way. I'm gonna live my new life. And I have to start now. Man, I gotta run. Wait, is that money in the bag? Hey! Stop that thief! He's a thief! Hey, stop right there! Yeah, right! Try to catch me! I saw your face! I know what you look like! <laughs> well, that really worked. I outran that guy. And I lost him. Now I have all this money. I still can't believe I did that. I just saw the money and grabbed it and ran. And I feel kind of bad. No, no, why do I feel bad? No one's cared about me before. It's mine now, and I could really use it. I didn't have a choice. I, I had to take it. I mean, look at where I'm living. I don't have any money for food, for clothes, for anything. But that changed now. <laughs> I've got plenty of money for that stuff. I did the right thing, right? Jake's been really nice for letting me stay here. Wait, what's this? Breaking news, Roblox. We have a new criminal on the streets of the city. He goes by the name of Luke. And he recently broke into a store and stole a whole bunch of cash. Luke is... He's a criminal? M my own brother? Why did it come down to this? We were trying to help him. Oh, I have to go figure this out now. Before it's too late. Dude, did you hear what's going on? Yeah, yeah, I got your text and everything. Look, we have to talk to him, man. This is getting out of hand. What is this? Ugh, you brought him with you? What are you doing here? Luke, what you're doing is wrong. You need to stop. Well, it's easy for you two to come over here and judge me. You don't know what I have to do to get by. I'm not here to judge you. I'm not even here trying to say I understand what you went through. All I want you to know is that I'm here now and I want to make your life better. Yeah, man, we're brothers. I don't need your help and I don't want your help. Just leave me alone. Fine. No, dude, we can't just let him get away. Just listen. I said get away from me. Oh. Guys, guys, stop it. Oliver, are you okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. It's just, just a punch. Look, we should probably just go home for the day. It's obvious that we're not going to get through to him. Dude, Luke is just not like us, like, at all. We're totally different. Yeah, I know. I'm sure that he's just been through a lot, though. I mean, he was never adopted. We were. We had a family. We had parents. All of his life, he was just at an orphanage. Yeah, I know. And that's why we can't turn our backs on him. Because whether he can see it or not, he needs us. Yeah, we just gotta get through to him before it's too late and he ends up going in jail for life. Oh, uh, sorry. It's my dad. He's calling. Uh, I'll be right back. I gotta take this or he's gonna ground me for like two months. No worries. Hey! Hey, it's you! Me? Well, I'm sorry. W what did I do? You are done committing crimes and you're gonna be in jail for a long time, buddy. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, you, you must think I'm Luke. No, I I'm his triplet. His triplet? You must think that I'm stupid. No, no, it's true. I promise. Please, I'm I'm innocent. I do not believe you. Put your hands behind your back. You're going to jail. No, no, please. Uh, Oliver, Oliver, help. Wait, what's going on? Adam, Adam. Why is he getting taken away in a police car? Oh, I got to go figure this out. <sighs> Thanks for bailing me out, man. It looks like because of Luke's actions, it's starting to affect our lives too. Yeah, so what, that cop just thought you were him? Yep, he didn't even want to hear me out. I don't want to keep getting arrested, man, especially not for his crimes. There's no other choice. We have to work with the police. You think that we should just turn our backs on him? I mean, we're not turning our backs on him. We're doing this to help him. Yeah, but if he founds out that we turned him in, he's never going to forgive us. It's just important to remember, okay, that this is for Luke's own good. He may hate us now, but I'm sure he'll understand later. I still cannot believe you're telling the truth. That's besides the point. Look, we want to talk to you about something. We know where to find Luke. And if you want, we can show you. I'm listening. Oh my gosh, it's, there it is. It's all the money. I thought this was going to be like a setup or something, but you guys were selling the truth. Uh, thank you. Of course. But look, Luke shouldn't get in trouble for this, okay? We're all just kids. He is 18 years old, okay? He can make his own decisions. And every decision has a consequence. Look, it's fine, all right? You can arrest him, but whatever the bail is, I'll cover it. Just please be nice to him. What is going on? I can't believe it. They sold me out to the cops? I knew I couldn't have trusted them. We want to be brothers. Pfft, yeah, right. That was a lie. 
I'll give you two a call when we finally arrest them. No, no, no! No, they took all the stuff! They've messed with me in my life for the last time. I'll show them. I'll show them what it's like to lose stuff. That way they'll both know how it feels. Looks like Oliver lived quite the comfortable life. Well, Oliver, let's see how it feels once you start losing things. Look at this place, filled with nothing but expensive stuff. Guess he really lived the life. I'll just take some of this. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, no, of course, they've got some kind of fancy alarm. What is going on? Wait, you! Don't move an inch. Cops are already on their way. Ugh, get your hands off of me. I cannot believe this. You actually just tried to steal from me? You two sold me out. I'm just giving you a taste of your own medicine. We were going to bail you out, genius. We sold you out to clear your name. What? No, you told the cops where I lived, and they took everything from me. All of my hard work, gone. Hard work? You stole from those people. That's not hard work. You can't keep doing this. Well, don't worry. He's not going to do it anymore. Wait, what? O Oliver, what are you talking about? I am not going to forget this. I am not going to bail you out. You stealing from me? That made it personal. Oliver, no, you can't do that, please. Adam, I'm sorry, but he's a thief. And if we just let him out, he's gonna keep stealing. Oh yeah, well, you'll regret this, Oliver. And in other news, notorious criminal Luke is getting out of prison. Wait, what? He, he's finally getting out? You heard it here, folks. He's been in there for five years. How will the city deal? And folks, if you do not want to be in prison for five years, make sure you are subscribed to Shane Plays 2. Oh, I can't believe it. These years just flew by. Maybe I should go give him a ride. I don't know about that. That really doesn't seem like a good idea. Come on, Sarah. He's family. He needs me. We should be there for each other. I mean, I told you all of this when we first started dating. Yeah, I know, but Adam, he has nothing but trouble. You don't need to be around that. Look, I know he's made bad decisions, but that doesn't mean he doesn't deserve a second chance. I just really hope he's changed. Ugh, finally out of there. I want to get as far away from this place as possible. What? Who's that? Oh, man, you've got to be kidding me. Luke, hey, man, it's been a while. Yeah, been like five years since I've been stuck in prison. Come on, don't be that way. What do you want, Adam? I want to offer you a ride to get out of here. I don't want you just to walk. Yeah, well, I'd rather walk. I don't need any of your help. You're part of the reason why I was in there in the first place. I don't want to look at you. You were in there because of the crimes that you did. Just leave me alone and let me live my life. My old friend! Will? <sighs> old friend? You've gotta be joking me. You did nothing but pick on me back at that orphanage. Yeah, yeah, but that's all the past now, alright? Orphan boys gotta stick together, right? Yeah, I guess so. But hey, look, I, I just heard the news. You got out of prison, huh? Yeah, finally. It feels great to be back on the outside. Yeah, yeah, but hey, I'm sure you got no place to stay, and uh, I don't know about you, but I don't want to just be living on the streets. Yeah, I wasn't really looking forward to it. Didn't really think that far ahead. Well, how about you come along with me? I'll take you under my wing. I'll be the generous one here. Well, I don't really have anywhere else to go. Good. Hop in. Oliver, I can't believe it. I mean, he's finally out of jail. I can't believe it either, but why should I care? You've heard countless of times how much I've said I want nothing to do with that guy. People make mistakes. I'm sure you made mistakes in the past. I know I've made mistakes. I don't care, all right? I don't even know him. Sure, he's my triplet, but he sure isn't my brother. He stole from me, man. Fine, you can give up on him, but I won't. I have to believe in him. I have to. No one in his life has. He's been alone, Oliver. Yeah, and for good reason. Look at the person he is. I need to show him that someone's going to be there to care for him. And just maybe that will be enough to change who he is. Will, why did you bring me here? What are we doing? We're just wasting my time. Come on, man. We're just scoping out some houses, all right? Scoping out houses? Come on, do you plan on robbing these people? Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? I mean, do you want to? I don't know. I mean, all that stuff got me in trouble in the first place. Not a lot of people get a second chance at life, and I feel like this might be mine. The only reason you were in jail is because you got caught last time, all right? You failed at robbing. Well, now that you have me on your side, then that is not gonna happen, all right? 
All right, fine. So what's your grand scheme, huh? Well, I mean, that house, I've been scoping it out for a while, and there's a family that lives in there. And I don't think that they need that money. Yeah, but look at the size of this house. This thing is small. We can do better than this. You want to do better, huh? Well, I mean, isn't one of your brothers pretty wealthy? Yeah, Oliver's absolutely loaded with cash. Exactly, and if they have a lot of money, then I guess it shouldn't matter. Hey, we need it more than they do, right? I definitely need it more than he does. Oh, oh, uh, sorry, I didn't see you. Ah, don't worry about it. Uh, oh. Oh, oh, uh, Luke. Really, you're just gonna show your face around here, huh? It's a free country. Yeah, well, you should be in jail, man. Hey, guys, calm down. Hey, hey, listen, can we just talk about stuff? Yeah, right. So what, you could steal? Listen, all that time in prison, it changed me, okay? I've been thinking about a lot of stuff and all the mistakes I made. Wait, really? You, you actually mean that? Of course I mean it. We're all brothers, aren't we? We really shouldn't be fighting. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Right, Oliver? I just don't believe that he cares. Listen, Oliver, I've changed, okay? And I can't change what I did but I can change my attitude and what I'll do in the future. And I'm really sorry. See, Oliver, I told you everything that I said. It's happening. I'm so glad to hear, Luke. We can all be brothers now and, and, and things can start looking up for us. Yeah, I mean, I guess so. That is if Luke really means it. I do, I, I really do, I promise. Great, guys, I can make dinner tomorrow and we can all eat and, and catch up. Yeah, yeah, fine, I'll, I'll give in. Well, it looks like Adam's doing pretty well for himself too, huh? Well, I guess I'm the only brother that got left behind. Well, the place is nice as this. I'm sure Adam won't be missing a couple things. Now, where are his keys? I wanna take that car. Aha, here they are, perfect. Now, I just gotta get out of here. Uh, oh, uh, hey, what are you doing in here? Oh, hey, sorry, I uh, just wanted to come see where you're living now, huh? Nice place. Oh, yeah, uh, thank you. I mean, yeah, this is, uh, this is one of the many rooms. But hey, come on, uh, let's go to the living room. Oliver's here. Luke, what have you been doing? Well, I'm trying my best to stay out of trouble, you know? Yeah, that, that's great to hear. I'm, I'm really proud of you. How have you been, Oliver? You're not talking very much. Yeah, I'm just kind of observing. I, I don't know, it just seems too good to be true. I have to admit, it is actually kind of nice to see you again, Luke. I didn't really give you guys a chance before, but I'm here now. And we're here too. That's what I wanted to show you this entire time. You don't have to be alone. You can start a new life and be happy. Yeah, and it feels nice having all of us together again. And now we can all finally just be brothers. Hey mom, it's been a while since I last visited. But hey, I mean, good things are finally happening. My second brother, he, he's finally turning around. But I don't know, I still wonder what you'd say about him. Like, am I being naive? Am I being blinded by all of this? Could Luke still be bad? I don't know. I just have this weird feeling and I can't seem to shake it. But I just really want a family again. I miss you so much. And ever since these brothers came into my life, everything's just been less lonely. Anyway, I miss you. And I'm gonna follow exactly what you told me, to put others first. Hey man, uh, how are you doing? I'm good, I'm just, uh, just talking. I think you're right. After what I saw the other night, I think Luke has changed. See, uh, I told you he would, we just had to be there for him. Yeah man, whatever, you're right again. No big surprise. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna head back home and cook some dinner. Do you wanna join me? Yeah, yeah, sure, let's go. No way, you got the keys or what, huh? Yeah, yeah, I got his keys. And they all believed you? Sadly, yeah, they completely believed me. They don't suspect a thing. What do you mean, sadly? Uh, you're not backing out last second, are you? I don't know. It's just this weird feeling I have. I can't seem to shake it. it. Feels like I'm doing something wrong. Yeah, well, get that thought out of your head, man. I'm gonna go prepare the warehouse for all this new cash we're gonna bring in. I'll be back later. Wait a second. So I'm doing this on my own? They're your brothers. It's your deal. All right, fine, fine. All right, I can do this. I mean, I did it once before to Oliver. I can do it again to Adam, right? Why am I questioning this? I just gotta get this done. All right, time to grab some of this stuff and get out of here. Uh-oh. Uh oh man, I broke it. Hey, hey who's over here? L Luke? Hey, bro. <laughs> hey. You're stealing from me? 
Listen, this is all I know how to do, okay? What do you expect from me? No, you don't have to do this. You, you can start over. You can have a good life. That's what I've been trying to tell you, Luke. We're your family and we're here for you. We want to help you get back on your feet. Yeah, but you guys are the ones that put me there in the first place. You're the one that did this. You committed the crimes. You're in jail because of it. Please, just, just let us push you in that right path. I don't think I can do it. Well, I do. And I know Oliver does too. Prove us right. I knew what I was doing was wrong. I, I just couldn't stop it. I'm, I'm sorry. But I'm ready to change. And I'm ready to try. Sometimes it can seem like family's hard to get along with. And that was definitely the case for these triplets. Joey, Tyler, and Lucas. Everyone was always mean to Joey. One of his brothers even said that he hated him. These triplets will soon learn that family's the most important thing in life. And then no matter what, they'll always be there for each other. What are you doing, man? You're such a loser. You're always inside. Uh, hey, Lucas, uh, I was just reading. Why do you always have to be so mean to me? How are you even my triplet, dude? You're so lame. You just stay inside all day and just read? What are you, a freak? I'm not a freak. I just enjoy reading. Why can't you be normal like me and Tyler and just play outside like a real kid? Well, but I have really bad allergies. I can't. Yeah, you're allergic to being cool. That's your problem. I'm not allergic to being cool, okay? I just like what I like. It's not my fault. Yeah, whatever, man. I can't believe it. I can't believe that I have to call you my triplet. I wish you were never even born. Don't say that, please. No, I hate you. I hate that I'm related to such a freak. Oh, man. Why would you say that? Uh, hey, Tyler. Hey, what's up, Joey? Nothing Lucas was picking on me again. I don't get why he's so mean to me all the time. I wish I could figure out why he hates me so much. Dude, Joey doesn't hate you, but maybe if you made an effort to try to spend time with him more, he wouldn't be so mean. Why would I want to spend time with him? He's always awful to me. You always side with Lucas. No, I don't. I'm just telling you how it is. It's super weird that you never want to spend your time with us. It's not weird, I can't help it. We don't have the same interests. Whatever, man, I don't want to fight with you and you're being kind of annoying. Why does everyone always say that? Why does everyone hate me? No one hates you. I don't want to hear it anymore, just leave me be. Joey, what's wrong? I, I could hear you crying out in the hallway. My brothers hate me. That's the problem, Mom. Everyone's so mean to me. Oh, come on. You know they don't hate you. Now, don't you think you're overreacting just a little bit? No, I'm not. Lucas makes fun of me all the time, and then Tyler just agrees with them. They just don't understand me. It's awful. They're supposed to be my triplets, and they treat me like I'm garbage. Oh, Joey, darling, I think you need to toughen up a little bit. And, you know, just get over it. Your brothers, you're gonna have some problems. I try to, but they hate me, Mom. Don't you get it? They hate me. No, they do not. Now, you need to knock it off. I am tired of having my sons fighting all the time. I am just sick of it. Now, you need to find a way to get along with your brothers. Oh, all right. Maybe I should try a little harder or something. I can't believe them. I can't believe my brothers hate me. This is so awful. I'm so tired of it. Even my mom takes my brother's side. I just can't take it anymore. It's so frustrating. What do they want from me? I mean, I'm just being me. How can they think that I'm the one that's being mean when it's just them all the time? Always yelling at me. I just don't get it. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'll make it easier for them. Maybe I'll just run away. No one's gonna miss me anyway. No one cares. No one cares at all. I'll go start a new life somewhere else. I'm out of here.
Lucas, man, Joey was really upset earlier. Maybe you should start to take it easy on him. You're being kind of mean. Aw, oh, dude, would you just shut up? All you do is complain about Joey, both of you, my gosh. I don't complain about him. He's my brother and I love him. Sure, he doesn't have the same interest as us, but doesn't mean that he's a loser. Yeah, it does. Look, man, you're just being mean, okay? I mean, why would you treat your family like that? I don't know. I mean, he just makes me angry. He's super annoying. He's not like us. So you don't treat other people like that, especially your brother. How would you feel if someone was calling you a loser all the time? I don't know. I guess I wouldn't like it. Yeah, exactly. And that's how Joey feels every day. You're his brother and you just pick on him relentlessly. Oh, you're right. You're right. Oh my gosh. I should just go tell him I'm sorry. Yeah, I think you should. All right. You want to come with me? Yeah, sure. Why not? Joey? Joey, where are you, man? Oh, it doesn't look like he's in here. But he's always in his room. Hey, man, it looks like some of his stuff is missing. Huh, that's not like Joey. I mean, do you think maybe he wanted to go outside or something? No, we would have seen him outside if he was there. Wait a minute. Do you think that he ran away? I mean, he was really upset earlier. Well, that's the only thing I could think of. I mean, where else would he go? He's like allergic to everything. Well, what did you say to him? What did you say that made him so upset? Well, I might have told him that I wish that he was never born my brother. Dude, you can't say that to somebody. Yo, I was just angry. It's not like I actually meant it. Ugh. Well, it doesn't matter. You should never say something like that. All right, I'm sorry. Well, don't apologize to me. We need to find Joey. What if he's in trouble? All right, come on, man. Let's go find our brother. Oh man, I hate it out here. Ugh, what is that noise? Ugh, why would I run out into the woods? I'm so stupid, I hate it out here. I'm allergic to everything. I'm, I'm all stuffed up and I don't know, it's so creepy. Oh, I don't want to be out here. Maybe I should just turn back, but I don't know. I mean, why should I at the same time, right? I mean, Lucas is always telling me that I'm the worst and that he hates me and I should be outside while I'm out here. I'm outside all alone with no brothers that want me. Gosh, I'm never going back. I can't. Maybe it'll teach him a lesson. Oh, I guess I gotta keep moving. I gotta keep going out of here and- oh! oh man, Lucas, I'm nervous. It's getting really dark. Yeah, I know. It's crazy out here. Where could he have gone to? I don't know. Joey! Joey! Oh, man. There's no way we're gonna find him. I can't believe he's out here on his own. Guys, help! Guys, help! Oh, my gosh. It sounds like Joey! Joey! Hey, hold on tight, man. We'll get you out. Oh, thank you, guys. Thank you for helping me. Oh my gosh, it's so scary out here. Yeah, man, we were scared too. I can't believe you ran off like that. Oh man, it's been a really long adventure, that's for sure. Well, come on, let's get you home. Oh, all right, I would love that. This is so much better than the woods. I can't believe you guys even come out here. Oh, thanks again for finding me, guys. I was so scared out there. Yeah, of course. We weren't going to just leave you out in the woods like that. Yeah, man. And look, I really wanted to talk to you. That's the whole way we found out you were missing. Oh, really? Yeah, I wanted to apologize. I should have never treated you that way. I didn't mean any of those things I said to you earlier. I was really scared when you ran away. Yeah, I was really scared, too. I didn't like it. Look, I just love you, man, and I want to spend more time with you. And I went about expressing my feelings the wrong way, you know? Could you ever forgive me? Yeah, of course I can forgive you. We're brothers. 
Awesome, I'm so excited. I mean, we're triplets after all. We have to stick together, now and forever. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we had triplets. I know, three crying little weird things. I don't want them, I can't take care of them. Yeah, Doctor, we don't want these babies. Look, I know that they're triplets and it can be overwhelming, but they really need a home. I think that you should just bring them to the orphanage for us. Well, I can try, but a lot of the orphanages are booked up. They might split the triplets up. Well, I don't really care, do you? No, they don't even know each other. It's not like they're friends or anything. They were just born at the same time from the same mother. It doesn't matter. My gosh, you two are horrible people. I'll keep one of the babies and I'll try to bring the other ones to an orphanage that I know and trust. Yeah, okay, whatever. Priscilla, thanks for seeing me on such short notice. I have two babies here that might need a home. Oh, uh, okay. Well, you know, you came to the right place. Okay, great. There's two babies and they both really need a great home. Do you think you could do that? Oh, well, just by looking at one, uh, this one over here, it's kind of ugly and, and stupid. I, I really don't know if that one will get a good home. My gosh, what is wrong with everybody? Would you just take care of them, please? It's your job. I know, but Doc, come on, this one's ugly. Nobody wants an ugly kid. You know what? I bet you were an ugly kid because your attitude's ugly. Why won't you do this? Why won't you take care of them? It's your job, please. Jeez, oh my goodness. Fine, fine. You don't have to be so mean. Thanks for seeing us, Priscilla. I'm really excited to adopt a baby. Oh, uh, you sure you want that one? Yeah, that baby's so cute. Yeah, I'm really excited to be able to provide a good home for a child that needs one. We're really excited to start a family. Well, good. I've been sick of looking at him. He's just been in this orphanage for like ever and uh, I don't know. I don't want him anymore, so take him. Wow, well, I'm glad to take him away from you. You seem like a really mean lady. Ah, yeah, yeah, w whatever. Oh, man, Miss Priscilla, is there anybody else coming today? I was really hoping that I would get adopted. No, stupid. Now quiet down and do your chores. I already did my chores. I'm not going to do more chores. Why has no one ever adopted me? I mean, my gosh, I've been here for so long. Well, it's because you're stupid and you're ugly and nobody wants that. That's not true. Stop saying that. Why do you always put me down? <laughs> well, I don't know. It's kind of fun. It's not fun. I'm getting tired of it. I'm sick of doing all the chores and I'm sick of you being mean to me all the time. Well, 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 you're always crying. You're just like a little baby, but you're not. You're older and annoying. You know what? Fine. I'm out of here. You're never going to see me again. Oh my goodness. Yes, it's like Christmas. I never want to see you again. Goodbye, you little freak. Happy birthday, son. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, Dad, I can't believe this! Oh, I love it! This is unbelievable! You didn't have to do this for me! Of course I did. You're my son. I'm very proud of you. My birthday party is gonna be so awesome! I can't believe it! Well, I can't wait. I'll tell you that. It's gonna be so much fun. But Dad, do you think that my other brothers out there are having a good birthday too? Well, I sure hope so, son. Someday, I really want to find my brothers, Dad. I mean, now that we're getting older and stuff, I would really like to know them. You know, and I, I just hope that they have good lives just like me and you. Well, I sure hope so too. But hey, we got a party to get ready for. Okay, yeah, sure. Well, son, you're doing a good job with all this work. 
We're going to have a big family barbecue for your birthday. It's going to be real cool. Oh, yeah, Dad, I, I, I'm really excited. It's going to be great. But there's a lot of work that still needs to be done. I know, but it's getting closer to your birthday. You're allowed to take a break every once in a while. You're going to work yourself crazy. I know, Dad, but I just love being out here. I love being with you and Mom and everything, and, and I'm just so excited for the family to come over. Well, I'm really excited for you, too. This is going to be big. It's going to be really fun. I love you so much. Well, I love you, too, and so does your mom. Now, come on. Let's take a break. We got to at least have a snack or something. All right. All right. Sounds good. Well, alone on my birthday again. Maybe someday somebody will care. I wish that I had a family. I wish that there was people out there that knew about me and just, you know, someone that I could share some time with. But at least I saved up enough money this year to buy myself a cake. That'll be good, right? It's almost like having my own birthday party. Except, I'll just be by myself, but it's okay. I need to treat myself. If no one else is gonna get me presents, then I'll get myself one. Hey, you! Oh no, what, what do you want? I heard that you've got extra money and you've been talking about getting cake! No, just leave me alone. It's my extra money, okay? No! I want the money! No, th please, this is the only money that I have and I'm saving it for my birthday cake. It's all I've got. Please, don't take it. Hmm... No, thank you! <laughs> Dad, Dad, I really want to talk to you. Yes, son, what's going on? Dad, I've been really thinking about my brothers, and I want you to tell me more about them. It just seems like it's messed up that I have other triplets out there that I don't even know. Well, when you were born, you were both born to parents that didn't want to take care of you. So, I was able to take care of you, and the other two had to go to the orphanage. But Dad, why would you take us all? I mean, that's messed up. You just left them out there. Look, I was a brand new doctor. I had hundreds of thousands of dollars in school debt. I couldn't afford them. I could barely take care of you and I. We lived in that small, bad apartment for a long time, remember? Yeah, I guess I understand. It just, I feel like we abandoned them. I really want to find them, Dad. Okay, I'm not really sure where they went, but we could go to the orphanage and talk to the woman there and maybe she'll tell us. Well, that would be great. But Dad, I think I need to go on this journey alone. They're my brothers, and I want to be the one to find them. Okay, I understand, son. But if you need any help, you let me know along the way. Of course I will. Ah! It's one of you! What, what are you talking about? My name's Randy, and uh, I'm here because I'm interested in trying to find my brothers. I guess that they both came here through the orphanage. Oh, my goodness. There was three of you? Oh, this is wild. It's like a nightmare. Wait, so you know my brothers? Yes. Oh, I could not forget them. Well, what happened to them? I want to meet them. I've never met them before. Well, uh, one ran away, and then the other one got adopted. So, yeah, that's about it. Oh my gosh, one ran away? That's not good. Can you, uh, can you at least tell me where the other brother got adopted? I want to meet him. Mmm, yeah, I guess so. I have nothing good to watch on TV, so uh, I might as well help you. Oh, thank you. Well, welcome to our home, Randy. It sure is nice to meet you. Uh, thank you. It's so nice to meet you. I, I can't believe I've got my brother, Colt. Yeah, that's right. I can't believe it either. This is amazing. Wow, look at us together again. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe it either. We even kind of sound alike. You boys are hilarious. I love seeing you two together. This is amazing. Yeah, it really is. You know what happened to our other triplet? Well, the orphanage lady said that he ran away. Oh no, that doesn't sound good. Well, doesn't sound like he had the best life, huh? No, it doesn't sound like he did at all. Dad, I think that we should go find him. I mean, he might be out there wandering around. But where would you even know to look? Well, he ran away recently from the orphanage. He has to be somewhere around there. Please, Dad, this is important to me. Can I go? 
Yes, son, of course you can go. You guys just be safe and keep your cell phones on you to make sure if something happens, you call me, all right? Yes, sir. It was really nice to meet you. It was nice meeting you, too. Now go find that other triplet. Uh, excuse me, sir? Yeah, what do you want? Hey there, uh, I was just wondering, you seen anybody around here that looks kinda like us? Whoa, wait a minute! What, there's two of you? Oh my gosh! What? No, there's actually three of us. We're all triplets, we're looking for our brother. He ran away from home and I, I have a feeling that he might be somewhere around here. Oh yeah, I've seen someone that looks like you, that kid's a stupid loser! Hey, don't talk about my brother like that! Well, I don't know what to tell you, okay? He ran off, he's hiding in the woods somewhere, crying like a little baby. You're the one that's a little baby. Hey, don't say that. Yeah, and you smell horrible. Just like old moldy cheese. Hey, you guys are mean. Yeah, well, get out of here. Leave us alone. Are you going to make fun of my brother like that? Come on, we got to go and try to find him. Let's go to the woods. Man, I can't believe it. I'm just out here alone again. When are things gonna get better? I, I just want my life to be normal. Is it so much to ask? I feel like I'm so nice to people and everyone's just so mean. Hello? Hey, hey, hey there. Oh, oh my gosh, who are you guys? Y you look exactly like me. Well, where are your brothers? What, I have, I have brothers? They didn't tell you that at the orphanage? What? No, no, they didn't. Oh, oh my gosh, are we are we triplets? Yeah, that's right. We're triplets. Oh, oh my gosh, I have a family. This is amazing. Yeah, I'm Randy, and this is Colt. It's nice to meet you. Oh, it's really nice to meet you guys, too. My name's Jerry. Oh, Jerry, that's a cool name. Thanks. Yeah, I like it, too. Oh, you look like you're really cold, and you could use some food. You guys want to go back to my house and hang out? Wow, yeah, I would love that. All right, cool, let's go. Wow, this is a beautiful house. Yeah, this place is real fancy. Thanks, it's my dad's obviously, but yeah, it's really nice. I don't even care about that. I'm just so happy that we're all together. Yeah, I'm happy to meet you guys too. Yeah, this is amazing. Until this morning, I didn't even know that I had family. Well, look, I, I want to find a way for all of us to be together again. Maybe we could all live here or something. Well, that's a real nice offer, but I have a family. I got a mom and a dad, and I really love them. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't come here and live, but I think we could hang out a lot. Yeah, I understand that. I wouldn't want to leave my dad either. And hey, uh, Jerry? I don't know if this is too much, but I talked to my dad and, and he definitely said you could live here if you want. Whoa, whoa, really? Like, be a part of your family? Yeah, of course. I mean, you're both welcome here. Oh, wow. That would be amazing. I finally have a family. That's right. You got three brothers right here. They will always be here for you. Wow, this is the best day of my life.